it's PLJ underscore 95 here with a slightly different video to what you would normally expect. Today, I'm going to be giving you some advice on what helped me go from a small number of followers on Twitch to over 11,000 followers, whilst also being accepted into the Twitch affiliate and then partner program in less than one year, whilst gaining over 1,000 subscribers on YouTube at the same time, all from my PlayStation whilst predominantly playing Minecraft. I didn't use a capture card or an expensive gaming PC. It is all from the inbuilt features that the PlayStation 4 has to offer and using other applications to assist in building the stream to what it is today. For those that don't know, you can find my streams over at twitch.tv forward slash plj underscore 95. If you want more advice or I do not cover something that you have a question about in this video, in the description below is the link to my Discord server where myself and many other amazing people can help you with your questions. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Tip number one, you do not have to be perfect. When you first start streaming, nobody is expecting you to be at the levels of Shroud, Ninja, Pokimane, Filza, or even Dream. And they're definitely not expecting you to have the perfect gaming setup. When I first started streaming, I used a TV that came with my rented apartment, Wi-Fi that didn't have the best speeds and didn't use an Ethernet cable, my phone to see my Twitch chat and Twitch notifications, and the PS4 itself with the standard one earpiece headphones that came with the PlayStation. When you first begin, people will be looking to see what potential they think you will have on the streaming platform. So for example, if you have less than five viewers, They'll be wanting to see how you interact with the people that come into your stream. Remember that even though that you are the person who is streaming, it's the chat that is the star of the show and they should be made to feel like it. Tip number two, build a community. Focus on building a community around your stream. The people coming to watch your stream have at least one similar interest to you, which is why they are there. As I said before, the star of the show is the chat, so when somebody comes into your stream and starts talking, make sure that you start up the conversation with them, but don't make them feel like they have to do anything else. This is the same for people who come into your stream, but don't talk. They're known as lurkers, and don't make them feel like they have to talk. Whatever capacity somebody comes into your stream in, make them feel comfortable. So if somebody wants to lurk, let them lurk. If somebody wants to chat, talk to them make a conversation, and if somebody wants to follow or subscribe, be sincere when you thank them, because that is just as important as the people who lurk. Remember, you're going to need other ways to talk to the people from your stream unless you're live 24-7. Some things that I would highly recommend doing is getting yourself a Discord server, an Instagram, and a Twitter. All of my links you can find below in the description. This will allow you to give people updates, talk with them in either text or voice form, and maybe play other games that you've always wanted to play but been too scared to because you don't know people. You can use these to form some amazing friendships, and these people will want to support you in your streaming journey, and you might find other people that you want to support too. For example, last week with the new Among Us map update in my Discord, one of the nights was spent playing that new map with an amazing group of people in a voice call, which we'll definitely be doing again. On my stream, up to around 7,500 followers, and from before I was even affiliated with Twitch, which is 50 followers and some other requirements, I would host a community day every Saturday. It started off as a follower Minecraft world that anybody who was followed and had a Minecraft Bedrock account could join when the world was opened. Once the channel hit about 2,500 followers and I was getting a consistent number of subscribers, I changed it to a subscriber Minecraft world which was then upgraded to a realm once PlayStation got access to servers and realms. It's important to remember that the closer your community feels to you, the more they will want to help you and see you succeed. Tip number 3. Be unique. With this I mean to be as unique as you possibly can be. Luckily, my favourite game is Minecraft, which has a lot of people playing it, but it is a highly saturated market and you need to do something that is going to make you stand out from the crowd. If you go through Minecraft on Twitch right now, you will see countless streams of people playing Bedwars, speedrunning or doing hardcore. 
Again, luckily for me, I like long term projects and Bedrock doesn't offer hardcore to its players. So I fit into a niche of people that is not highly represented on Twitch, especially streaming directly from a PlayStation 4 and not a PC. When I started streaming, PlayStation Minecraft didn't even have access to realms or servers, so we only had our solo worlds or ones where you could open up to your friends. One important thing to remember though is that being unique is what gets people into the stream. It is yourself and how you interact with the community which will keep the people there and keep them coming back in the future. Tip number four, quality over quantity. This works in many respects when it comes to streaming. If you can only stream once a week for two hours, then do that. You don't have to stream every day to be successful on Twitch, but if you want to stream every day, there's nothing stopping you. Do what's best for you. I started streaming on April 19th of 2020, and I was streaming six days a week for around two hours at a time. Right now, I stream four days a week, which is on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and a Saturday for around three to four hours, which is almost the same amount of hours that I was putting in when I first started. But now the quality of those three to four hours is much higher than what I was doing in the two hours every single day. I also upload to YouTube once a week on a Sunday, which will be or will have been the video that you're watching right now. One really good piece of advice when it comes to streaming, and that I would definitely advise you to do, is to stream at 720p 60 frames per second, as this will greatly improve your stream and decrease the amount of lag or buffering that people who are watching have to deal with. Filzer himself in the past has told people that there isn't much point streaming over 720p, and it will reduce the quality of your stream whilst you're trying to improve it. It does the opposite thing to what you're trying to achieve. For people trying to stream from PlayStation, once you've linked your Twitch with your PlayStation, which I'll post a link to a helpful article below on how to do that, press the share button on your PlayStation controller. Press broadcast gameplay and press Twitch. Under the title, you will see an option that says quality. This is where you can change the quality of your stream. However, once you've started your stream, it will have to stay at that quality. Tip number five, look and be professional. Streaming directly from a PlayStation has its limitations. We don't have easy access to Twitch chat or the incredible overlays that PC streamers do. However, don't use the inbuilt chat function that PlayStation says you can use. This black overlay takes up such a large portion of the screen and those watching from Twitch will see two chats, one on your gameplay screen and one on theirs. It looks incredibly unprofessional and will steer a large proportion of people away from your stream. Many people will come into my stream and be amazed that I'm streaming from a PlayStation because the quality of the gameplay is high and then they will ask me how I read chat. I would highly recommend at least having a mobile phone to read your Twitch chat and notifications from so you can thank any person that comes into the stream or follows or subscribes. Right now I use a laptop and have my creator dashboard open which gives me easy access to polls, predictions, raids, hosting and my overlay. I use an extension called Overlay Expert and it can be found in extensions in the creator dashboard in Twitch. My overlay is extremely simple. In the bottom left I have a follow account and a sub count and alerts for any person who follows or subscribes. The only limitation to this is the people using a desktop version of Twitch can see the overlay but nobody else can. Those are my 5 pieces of advice to help you to begin to grow your Twitch stream from your console. Remember, this is what worked for me and you might have to modify things to suit your needs. Again, my Discord is in the description below if you have any more questions and of course you can put your questions in the comment section below. I hope you guys found this video useful and if you did, please smash that like button and if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Bye!